Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back to Law and Order Legacies. Let's continue. We're going through this court case, I think. So now the defense attorney is going to interview uh, the police lady that we weren't playing as. It's kind of bad video game design that actually we're not being interviewed by that the guy we played as as the police detective isn't the character being interviewed here but instead his partner is being interviewed and I know they have so many famous people from Law and Order they want want you to be able to uh, play as that that's the reason but it's it's just not smart like think back is has there ever been a video game where you played as four different important named characters Donkey Kong Country maybe <laughs> uh, anyways Christine and Mullins as a defense attorney and you are facing today the job it is to object when she gets out of line here are two tricks she likes to use so I, so you're not even gonna answer the questions in this you're just gonna object and play as the defense lawyer hmm well wait no, you're going to be playing as a prosecution lawyer. She will disguise comments such as questions such, Are you really supposed to believe this lie? This is argumentative. She will also insult your witness by calling him a low life or a criminal. This is badgering. Remember, badgering is a straight insult. Argumentative is when... Mon cast doubts on the testimony disguised as a question. Detective Benson, you testified that you saw the defendant, Chavez Trevino, shoot the victim. No, I testified that I turned around and saw Mr. Trevino with a smoking gun in his hand, about a second after I heard the shots. So hmm. you didn't actually see him do the shooting? Are we supposed to believe you're a relevant eyewitness? Would I like to object? Yes. Objection. So remember, badgering is a straight insult. Uh, argumentative is when she tries to ca cast doubt or testify or add doubt by asking a question. A loaded question. Asked and answered uh, is something they haven't even done yet. Argumentative. Sustained. Ms. Mullins, hmm. enough with the rhetoric. Immediately after the shooting, what did Mr. Trevino look like? I don't follow you. Was he composed? Calm? He was in possession of himself. Wasn't he mm. yelling out, my baby, you murdered her? He said that, yes. He was out of his mind with grief. He was coming apart at the seams and you didn't see it? Really? I don't believe you. He was mm. upset. Let's see. Let's see. Should we object to this? He was out of his mind, full of grief. He was coming apart. Really? I don't. You didn't see that? Really? I don't believe you. So. I'm going to object to badgering, but this isn't as obvious as I, as you would Objection. think. Badgering. Objection overruled. Oops. Is your heart so cold, detective? That goes 10 Are you such points. a robot that you can't see another human in distress? I guess I should have objected now. Objection. Badgering. Sustained. The defense can save the dramatic storytelling for its own witness. Let's try this one more time. Was my client, Chavez Trevino, visibly shaken and distressed following the shooting? Yes. Did he appear rational? Calm? No. Was his behavior at that moment consistent with a person in severe emotional distress? Object I to that. Yes. So despite any forethought She's or not an expert he might have shown previously, in psychology, she would was know. was clearly in distress when he fired his weapon. True? True? Yes. Thank you. That's all for this witness, Your Honor. 
there was several other things there you could have objected to, but being a lawyer is not a game of how many objections I can get in. I, judges don't like when you frivolously object. They prefer you don't object at all, usually. Anyways, for this testimony, the jury sides with the prosecution. You won by plus 10. The jury is leaning towards your case. You're ahead by plus 60. But I imagine something might happen here. I just got a message from Cormac. You know the gun we took off Chob Trevino? Yeah. It's a ballistics match to the one used in the preppy joggers murder. The joggers? What? The two kids who got killed in the park? That was in the 90s. It was 1998. Me and Lenny Briscoe caught the case, but we ran out of leads and were never able to close it. We got pulled off, actually. We burned the old man's ass pretty good. Oh, tough break. But, well, then, how did Trevino get it? Yeah, good question, detective. Hmm. This case has been on my mind since I got back. Then this falls in my lap. I feel like I owe it to Lenny. Ray, any way I can help out, I'm in. Thanks. Hmm. So apparently the gun that the guy just used links to an old case that probably was a big deal in the TV series, but makes no sense to me, really. Now it's the defense's turn to make their case. Christina Mullins is up to her old tricks. Here are two new objections for you to learn. Hearsay is a valid objection when a witness quotes someone who is not in the court or cannot testify to the truth of the repeated statement and no expert knowledge, which he should have objected to before. Uh, no expert knowledge is when a witness testifies when no expertise to back it up. For example, testifying on medical matters with no medical experience. And remember, sometimes knowing when not to object is just as important the correct choice Maybe to withdraw your objection. Mickey, in the weeks after your sister's murder, how did your dad act? Crazy. My dad has PTSD again. It all came again. back. He needs different treatment. I don't think it ever goes away. Hmm. Would I like to object? Yes. Objection. No expert knowledge. Mickey Trevino is not a psychiatrist, Your Honor. Hmm. He's not qualified to diagnose his father. Sustained, Mr. Trevino. Man, this audio is comments to what you breaking saw. up. Tell us the behavior you observed. He, he couldn't control his temper. He, he would like yell when the phone rang or like if a dog was barking two miles away. I didn't know what to And do. does this just when end if I get kill, to I the him to be full really bar? Sad or depressed, but not, you know, not angry. And this behavior, had you ever seen it before? Hmm. No, but my sister did. Um, yeah, do I just win if this is full? Does it go on auto mode? Objection. Hearsay. Hearsay. Regrettably, the witness's sister is deceased and can't testify to the truth of this statement. Sustained. The jury will disregard that last remark. When? Mm. After he got home from the Gulf War, 1991. Pop had his troubles with the law. Felony assault charge, some other bullshit, uh, some other nonsense. But what's funny is that, um, even though I objected to it, the hearsay, he still fully just said all of the hearsay. Uh, the same line of dialogue. Should I object? Nope. I'm Did not going to object. Did you think he would hurt anyone? My uncle said he was getting dangerous. I will object to that. Hearsay. Hearsay. Sustain. If your uncle would like to testify, then by all means. However, you may not testify for him. Do you think your father was in his right mind when he shot So I'm out at a full bar now. No. When my sister got murdered, I tell you, it smashed something deep inside my dad. And the idea that this fat Russian bastard could walk away scot-free because of some technicality? My dad did the world a favor. Thank you, Mickey. No further questions. Mm. 
so it seems very odd that it would end here. I'm not even going to get to cross exam. For this testimony, the jury sides with your prosecution. You won by plus 45. The jury seems convinced by your case. You're ahead by plus 100, and that seems like that's the maximum, honestly, because it should be 105, because I was at 60 before. Hmm. It's your turn with Mike Trevino. See if you can make him admit that he knew his father had a plan to kill Alexander Brown or tried to obtain a weapon. Let's see. Let's ask this question. Tell us about your sister, Rachel. I didn't always agree with her politics, but Rachel was a good person. She was trying to make the world a better place. So oh, now I'm losing points. Blog for social justice or rainforest or something. I don't know. It's not my thing. She was writing about about this guy Baran, about what he was doing to other women, lots of other women. This didn't happen by accident. He read what she wrote. He found her and he killed her to shut her up. God only knows how many times he did this before. My dad put a stop to Alexander Baran permanently, for Rachel's sake. Wow, and we just, uh, we just saw one of the jury members out of the blue. Red herring, talk about Rachel causes the jury to be sympathetic to her father. Oops. Well then, let's try the father's gun. Did your father try to buy a gun a week before the attack? Yeah, I guess. Did you try to help sign for it? Yeah, so what? Your father was convicted of felony assault in 1992. He's not allowed to have a gun. Did you know about his conviction? Nah, I, di I didn't know nothing about that. The man's got a right to defend himself. Actually, when he's a convicted felon, he doesn't. Hmm. And what's interesting is it's the same jury guy. <laughs> How did he get the gun? Good question. Where did he get the gun he used in court? I told the cops already. I don't know where he got the gun. You sure you didn't help him? I've never seen it before. Hmm. I didn't even know he had one. You sure you didn't help him get it? You are under oath, Mr. Trevino. I... I did not help him. Pop smuggled it in under his jacket. I don't know how he made it past security, but he did. Can you prove he's lying? I'm just gonna say nope. And that was correct. Hmm. No one thus far has proven the gun was smuggled in. The gun was never recovered. Benson stated the gun did not match the. That's why that's right. Let's ask about feelings of guilt. Did you know Alexander Baron claimed he didn't kill your sister? Does that bother you? No, I know he did it. How? You could just tell. But now you can never know for sure. No one can. You didn't let a court decide. You didn't let a jury decide. Wait a minute. Why are you saying I decided, he didn't? And my dad decided. We wanted justice. That sounds like vengeance, not justice. Sometimes they're two sides of the same coin, Mr. Cutter. Oh, so we're flipping coins now? Red herring don't allow Mickey to justify the killing or on the stand. Okay. How do you and your father feel about Alexander Baran? So I, I imagine feel? there's a Are way to serious? end this at Easy, 100 Mr. points. Trevino. Sorry, Judge. We hate the man. Alexander Baran is the guy who killed my little sister. My hmm. pop said he didn't care what happened to him. He said he would gladly kill Baran so we could go to hell and kill him again. He's a fat cat with an army of lawyers ready to help him weasel out of everything he does. You know this guy. So he Every said that? When did he say him. that? Oh, he loves to do the crime, but he does not do the time. Nope, not these boys. There, there's also some weirdness that the, these law and orders usually take place in Manhattan. So it is very much the Manhattan attitude for all the characters uh, in the stories. Or either they take place in Manhattan or L.A. 
which is all TV seems to ever think the United States is. Did you ever hear your father threaten to kill Baran? Hurt? Yes. <laughs> kill? No. He just said. He just said that he. He didn't care what happened. He said he would gladly kill Baron so he could go to hell and kill him again. Which doesn't even make sense. But, like, if you kill Baron. Oh, I get it. He would kill Baron, then he would go to hell for killing Baron to kill him again. And then very close to the same statement each time. That's not true. You just told us your father said he'd like to, quote, kill Baran and go to hell so he could kill him again. That was, that was like a, just a figure of speech. Or the truth. Why didn't you get help for your dad? He seemed rational. So he was in control? Enough so that you weren't worried? Yeah, I wasn't worried. Hmm. So where's the PTSD? I guess I didn't see it then. So maybe he didn't have it. That's not what I meant. He did. So why didn't you get him help? Either you saw he was out of control and you did nothing, or you saw nothing. Hey, there was, there was no way to know what my dad was going to do. He was crazy. How could I possibly have known it would come to this? Could he have known? Hmm. I think yes, but how am I going to prove it? He said his father tried to buy a gun and wanted to kill Baron. No talk of drugs at all. This is the one to do. And we're back to 100 points. Excellent work, He already counselor. had a felony assault in his past. He tried to illegally buy a gun, and he told you he wanted Baran dead. If that was my old man, I'd have been a little worried. You want us to believe your dad just snapped. You say he hated Alexander Baran, knew in his heart Baran was guilty. He tried to buy a gun, but couldn't. So he found one some other way. Then he smuggled it through security, stayed cool until he had a fair shot, and fired an accurate pattern right into his intended victim. Now, Mickey, does that really sound like someone who just suddenly snapped? Objection. Withdrawn. None of this would have happened if people acted right. Rachel writes a, a nasty blog, and this guy Baran kills her. My dad's going out of his mind, and his doctor goes on frickin' vacation. Vacation, can you imagine? It ain't right. Everybody fails us, hmm. and we gotta suffer for it. Here no we've got some this witness, Your Honor. very preachy dialogue that I imagine happens in Law and Order all the time. I'm pretty sure it does. I've seen a couple of their episodes and not liked any of them. For this testimony, your jury sides with the prosecution. You've won by plus 10 points. The jury seems convinced by your case. You're ahead by plus 100, which is the maximum. Sort of. Are we done with episode one? The defense is going to introduce some new tricks, so this time to brush up, it's time to brush up on your objections, and then learn a new one. Who are we interviewing? Like it would have to be somebody new because the defense is making their case. They. Uh, and so we just cross-examined. So the defense is going to have to bring somebody else to the case. I guess it's probably going to be the defendant. Remember that hearsay means the witness is repeating something third-hand. And remember that no expert knowledge means that the witness is talking about medical, legal, professional knowledge they don't really know. Here's your new one. Speculation is when the witness speculates about what might have happened hypothetically. This is not considered admissible evidence in court. Mr. Trevino, why did you shoot Alexander Baron? 
He murdered my daughter. He was gonna go free. He was going to walk. Hmm. Would I like to object? Objection. Sure. With speculation. The witness can't know whether Mr. Baran was guilty or whether he would have gone free because he stopped the trial dead. Sustained. Can you tell us about Alexander Baran's diplomatic immunity? Hey, I'm not a lawyer, but I know what that means. He just gets to skate. The law says he can run off to Russia. Objection. Objection. No expert Witness knowledge. Witness stated he wasn't a lawyer. The diplomatic immunity rules are actually very complex, Your Honor. Alexander Baran's status was still under review even at the time of the trial. Sustained. Mr. Trevino, can you take us back to 1991? And your experience after the Gulf War? Objection. Yeah, I, Relevancy. I was in Iraq. I, uh, I saw a lot of stuff. When I got back home, I had some uh, trouble settling in. What kind of trouble? I but I shouldn't object to this before, but because he'll testify to off. his ability to I shoot a gun. All the time. I, I couldn't sleep. My wife divorced me. I wanted to die. Hmm. Would I like to object to any of that? Nope. But I guess we could object and withdraw and see what happens. Objection. Objection withdrawn. And what did the army say? And they gave me plus 10 points. Interesting. They, uh, they said it interfered with my ability to regulate my emotions. So I joined but I probably would have gotten 10 points. meds for a while for the depression. For if I hadn't objected. Together. What might have happened if you hadn't had therapy? I don't know. So Maybe really withdrawn is just a cancel somebody, button. Uh, I might have snapped, like I did that day in court. Let's object Objection. to that. Hmm. Speculation. Or oh, no expert knowledge. Calls for speculation. Defense is asking the witness to relate an imaginary scenario. Sustained. Let's focus on reality, Miss Mullen. Hmm. But you got yourself back together. You lived a normal life. So what happened recently to bring it all back? Rachel. Your daughter was tragically murdered, and the main suspect appeared to you to have diplomatic immunity. Hmm. Let's see. Objection. objection just over and over again objections objection withdrawn she was my beautiful baby girl he had no right how could this happen in the 21st century in america an innocent girl hmm. gets killed the cops pin the blame on this scumbag and still he might walk away as a man as a father i couldn't let that happen she looked to me to protect her <laughs> all her life I, I was a daddy right and i failed and you failed. You didn't protect her when she needed it most. What use is all your legal garbage if you can't put a killer behind bars? So, as a father, it was up to me to put that wrong to right. Because no one else was gonna. Now this would have been a more impactful story if, if he actually did walk in the court case. Mr. Cutter, your witness. And then uh, defense requests he a short him. recess, Your Honor. We wish to confer with the people about a plea deal. Well, make it quick. We're all on pins and needles. I'm at a hundred percent. Why in the world would I plea deal right now? Uh, plus, remember at the beginning of this court case, they said go for murder one. So unless he's going to plea for the murder one, uh, then... There's really no reason why we do this. Just to save Mike, the taxpayers. Abby, let's not let a grieving father go to jail for the rest of his life. Can we talk deal? Depends. Mm -hmm. What are you offering, Christina? This is so video One gamey. One year in county plus probation. You give us the time. He doesn't belong in jail. You're kidding, right? He's a killer. I got the blood stains on my jacket to prove it. Here's our counter offer. If the scales of justice show that you performed extremely well, in court, you might try for the maximum sentence of murder to 25 years. 
If you're less confident, however, consider a lesser charge that both you and the defense feels appropriate. We were told to go for murder one, which is life, if not execution. Remember, if the scales of justice don't favor you, the defense is likely to reject your offer. Click check the transcript to review the legal definitions of murder versus manslaughter. Hmm. I am going to say no deal. Like, we were... We've got this in the bag. Why in the world? No deal. We're taking this one all the way. All the way. And I imagine this is just going to go to the jury. This is it. You fought long and hard. Time to get your conviction. Avoid testimony about Trevino's mental state or his feelings towards Baron. They will confuse. This will confuse the jury because the jury is stupid and shouldn't be involved, apparently, according to how that was just phrased. Focus on premeditation. Alright. Let's see. Baron's daughter. We don't even know we have Baron's daughter. Let's see. Let's go with the PTD. PTSD diagnosis. How were you diagnosed with PTSD? Army doctors. My charts are part of the trial evidence. Did you believe them? Yeah, I believe. It finally explained the nightmares and, and the rage. Do you believe PTSD is a real condition? Of course I do. The dreams, waking up in a cold sweat, the paranoia, the sudden burst of anger. It's very real to me, Mr. Cutter. Hmm. I don't think that was helpful. Let's focus on the shooting. What was your intent when you brought the gun into your daughter's murder trial? I don't know. I just... I don't know. Answer the question, Mr. Trevino. What was your intent? To kill him, I guess. New topics revealed. And just keep going with the intent. You say you had the intent to kill Baran. When did you decide you wanted to kill him? I didn't really. I don't know. It, it was a feeling. Y you gotta understand. Was it when you tried to buy a gun? I didn't try to buy a gun. It, it wasn't premeditated like that. Is that true? No. <laughs> Let's see. Mickey. His admitted intent proves his innocence. <laughs> nope. We already presented evidence that you did try to buy a gun several weeks before the killing. I, I don't know. Uh, that morning, I guess. Interesting. So if he's going to say morning premeditation, let's ask about that. In the hours in between that morning when you decided to kill Mr. Baron and that afternoon when you did it, what did you do? Nothing. I, uh, I prepared, I guess. You prepared? You didn't call anyone for help or talk to anyone? Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I, I called my doctor. I, I tried to act responsibly, so, so I called him. He said, don't worry about it. Hmm. Can you disprove this? Uh, yeah, I can. Because his son testified his doctor was on vacation. Your son already told us your doctor was on vacation. Nice try, Mr. Trevino. The VA has a hotline for PTSD, correct? Yeah. But you didn't call them for help, because by then you had already decided to kill Baron. So we're and you done? Systematically Look at the nose plan, on this guy. Didn't you? I was insane. Too much shadowing you were under angry. the nose. There's a huge difference. Of both the guys, Objection. actually. So for this testimony, the jury sides with the prosecution, you won by plus 20, the jury seems convinced by your case, you're ahead by 100, let's just, um, I suppose wrap it up here, uh, I heavily suspect, now that it has been two hours or so, 
doing the first episode that this is the end and we will start episode two after we look at all of our decisions and just get a final wrap up of the whole game uh, that's going to be it for this recording though as always I ask you to like share subscribe comment and watch every second of my videos if you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites there's a whole bunch of links down below thank you for watching have a good evening